Getting back to normal on one of the busiest sections of I-75 that was shut down for much of rush hour. A dramatic crash involving five vehicles on northbound 75 just before the Brent Spence Bridge left crews with a real mess to clean up. Local 12's Curtis Jackson has been on the scene since shortly after the crash and he joins us now live with more on what happened. Curtis. Well, Cammy, the good news is traffic is moving normally along 75 northbound. That's good, of course, for a couple of reasons. First, it obviously means a lot of people are finally going to make their way home or to wherever they were going after a couple of hours just standing still there or just not, not moving at all. The other aspect of this is, is that hopefully the exhaust will get rid of some of the smell from the sewage truck that was primarily the cause of the blockage in the first place. Let me explain to you what happened. Earlier today, there was a crash involving five vehicles two semis, a sewage truck, and a car. Now, the car somehow managed to get underneath one of the semis, pretty much mangled during that accident. Four adults and a dog were trapped in the car. They were rescued and taken, uh, the adults taken to a hospital. The dog was taken to a shelter. We're told the injuries to the adults in the car are serious, but not life-threatening. So, why the blockage? Well. The sewage truck had overturned. It had 2,000 pounds of some very rancid water. So what had to happen is the company had to come out, bring another truck, take the water out of the truck that was involved in the accident, clean up the mess on the roadway, and ultimately that helped get traffic moving normally again. Uh, the sewage truck driver tells me that the four people who were in the car, uh, although they were the vehicle was in very bad shape, they were able to talk to him as they were waiting for help to arrive. Live in Covington, Curtis Jackson, Local 12 News. I got to tell you, Curtis, I'm shocked by that, that the four people in that vehicle that went under the tractor trailer are going to be okay. I mean, that's just incredible. Yeah, it is certainly. Uh, one of the police officers told me they were very lucky, yeah. uh, to, to use the cliche, but All no right. doubt true. Okay, thank you so much, Curtis.